Hello student, in this video clip we talk about the 209 paper. Now the 209 paper is quite a difficult paper because you need to do a lot of uh, actions and then uh, solid X is one of those compounds that is a Um unless you know that the the two compounds or two substances that give out carbon dioxide when you heat from are uh, the carbonates and the bicarbonates. Um, other, if you do not know this, then you will find this practical a little bit difficult. But nevertheless, um, we will still carry on with it. Well, in this 2009 paper, just the first part of it is need to heat solid X strongly. And when you read this portion over here, a lot of students will um, be mistaken to thought that you put the lime water into solid X and heat strongly. But you read carefully what it meant was to put the lime water in another test tube and then you heat the solid X strongly in, a, in another test tube. So during the heating part, you're supposed to withdraw the gas and then um, pipe the gas into the lime water, just like what you do if you test for carbon dioxide gas. So the correct observation should be written like that. So I'm heating and cooling down the residue remain white color. A colorless gas was produced, which one might fit in lime water. Now, this action over here shows that the gas or the substance is a carbonate or a bicarbonate. This action is when there's no brown gas, there's no oxygen gas, so it cannot be a nitrate. Suggest so identity of other products in this decomposition or heating process. Because of the carbon dioxide, you can suggest carbon dioxide. And if you notice carefully while doing the experiment, you notice that uh, water vapor was produced. So the two products could be this. Of course, if we base on what I spoken earlier, the other products we can we can suggest is an oxide for this uh, answer solution. Part B is actually a flame test. It's supposed to hit a certain solid X and you turn up the flame. Again, from the color of the plane, you can tell something about the cation present. It is what we call the flame test. So, a flame test is from the same book. I have shown to see. So, by orange should be something over here. Bright yellow, bright orange indicates sodium ions could be present in solid X. So by orange means they find this to look down the presence of uh, sodium ions, although it's not required. In C is supposed to add um, acid to solid X. Here we saw that the white solid with the HCl to produce a colorless solution. That's fine. Uh, but a very important sentence over here, bubbles of gas produced from uh, white water, a uh, white PPT with lime water. Now uh, this is another confirmation test that solid X could be uh, carbonate or a bicarbonate. So from the cool residue that you have heated slowly from part A, you're supposed to add water and make a stock solution. So from the stock solution you're supposed to do for the rest of the part of the, uh, rest of the experiment. For those of you who are a bit confused, it means like that. So the X you heat slowly it becomes residue Y. And then from residue Y up to cool it, you make a solution, and this solution is called solution Y. So, yes, solution Y is a product of uh, uh, up to the heat solid X only. So, what do you do to do sentiment cube or solution Y? Yeah, barium chloride. If you remember what's the purpose of barium chloride, it's supposed to test for sulfate. Barium chloride and barium nitrate as the same function. Right, so it is sulfate. Now, most of you would think that sulfate ion is present because of the PPT. But so there's a slight difference over here. Do you notice that? Here, you add barium chloride without adding in any acid first. So if we do such an action without any acid, any acid first, nitric acid or GCL, 
then there is yeah two possibility. Okay, what you could from? It's not so simple. It's not just sulfate ions present. You could be barium sulfate or barium carbonate. So both of these are white PPT. So how do we know which one? Should we should the white PPT be barium sulfate or barium carbonate? The second part of the experiment over here tells us it's barium carbonate. Why? Because the white solid with the hissing now to produce a colorless solution. And the student forgot to write this. The bubbles of gas produced actually turn a palm swipe PPT with uh, calcium hydroxide or lime water. Now, this action over here confirms that the white PPT is a carbonate and not a sulfate. So the white PPT present was a uh, barium carbonate. But nevertheless, they never asked you to identify. So if you just write these two sentences down, you will get the marks. And the last part of solution was where it's copper sulfate. Now you may ask me why on earth we add in copper sulfate. Now, let's look at the product form, a light blue PPT form. Now, this light blue PPT is not copper hydroxide because we didn't add in sodium hydroxide. Remember, all these are hydroxide because we added in sodium hydroxide. So why do you add in copper sulfate? And what is this uh, blue PPT or green PPT? Well, all copper salts are soluble, except copper carbonate. So the PPT form means that insoluble copper salt is formed. So this action shows that solution Y con must have contained a carbonate because if there's no carbonate, you don't see a probability form copper carbonate. And now hitting hitting it, you see the light green PPT so called becoming more green. Now, so this confirms as more and more water is being driven off, you see that the copper carbonate is in form. So again, why do you add in copper sulfate? Is the reason is to form an insoluble salt of copper and copper carbonate happen to be uh, between blue uh, or what you call like green in color. The last part of the experiment is to ask you about you know, to add the acid into the solution line. Again, you have bubbles of gas form. Again, it confirms that solution Y has a carbonate. Okay, there's something missing over here because when you add acid to solution, you have to describe whether any PPT form or any color changes. So she should write no PPT form. Uh, solution Y. We we dilute a cell to form a colorless solution okay just add in this sentence and so the final part of the question answers is this so it suggests the n ion not the cat ion not the cat ion I repeat so for x it could be hydrogen carbonate uh, Hydrogen carbonate and bicarbonate means the same thing. In the anion present in Y is a carbonate. That's why you saw so many carbonates over here. Lastly, to summarize, in case you're very confused, then is this. Now X is actually sodium bicarbonate. After you heat it strongly, it became sodium carbonate. And carbon dioxide in water. Alright, and this is your Y, and of course, you make a solution of it to what you call solution Y, and that's why all your solution Y contains carbonate. And um, if you can remember, all sodium and potassium carbonate are soluble in water. That's why you have dissolution by carbonate. 
So we end here for 2009 paper. If you have further question, please come and see me or Mr. Joe Daniel Chan or Ms. Violet Lee. Thank you.